Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Topps Finest Baseball 8 box pick your team number 14 with a chance at a little bit of money at the end of this break. Uh, if you bought at least two teams, you get one entry, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, so on and so forth. And the top two names will win $25 of break credit each. Nice. We'll do that randomizer at the very end of the break. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action here on a Saturday. Thanks for hanging with me on a Saturday. There you go. Good luck, everybody. Here's the case right here. This might be, well, we might get more. I don't know, but I didn't see any other finest cases in the back. So this might be our last case. I didn't realize that. I'm sure we're going to try to get some more, but for now, we don't have any more. I guess until we get more. Nick Jasby will be going live a little bit later tonight for a couple extra hours, two or three extra hours, Nick at night, so you can ask him if there's more finest coming. He, he, he knows. He'd know. All right. Good luck, everybody. Is baseball going to be back? They're certainly acting like it. So we'll see. I'd like for it to be back. Even, even if it's even if it's really just a more of a uh, an exhibition season. That's a good question, Eric. EA is asking, hey, how are they doing Rookie of the Year this year? I have no idea. I think they're just going to take whatever numbers that everyone has over a 60-game season, and the baseball writers just get together and they vote. Maybe they'll use projected stats. I don't know. Maybe they'll use on pace numbers, something like that. So we'll see. Jimmy Brandt, what's going on? Yeah, I see you. White Sox. Luis Robert would be a good pickup. The same thing is going to happen with all the other other awards, right? It's going to be like MVP, who wins the MVPs, Cy Youngs. There's Michael uh, Baez to 150. You know what? What numbers would it take to get an MVP? You know, we'd have to project out like, hey, if Shohei Otani hits like, you know, 15 home runs over two months, which is kind of a lot. There's Mike Yastrzemski. It's like three, he, the averages could be crazy too. You can get hot for a couple months. You can hit like 340, you know, for two months. There's Mike Yastrzemski for Arthur and the Giants on the board early, Arthur. Uh, Carl's grandson. You know, so, and if he's starting once a week, right, two months, right? They're, they're doing a six man rotation, two months. Is that four times four? Eight? Eight starts? If he goes like if he goes like six and oh. Say he's six 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 seven innings to start. Ten strikeouts to start. Gets like 80, 80, 90 strikeouts. Six seven wins and oh. Keeps that ERA at two. You know, that's a lot. Plus his hitting, there could be val there could be value. With uh, there could be value in in a player like Shohei Otani for AL MVP. This guy's always in the mix. You know what if Mike Trout just goes on a tear for two months? This guy. What if this kid, Ronald Acuna Jr., 15 out of 25 for the Braves? That's a nice one. That goes to Brandon Walker. You know what if this kid just rakes for two two months? All right, nice. What's up, Sam? So, could it be DeGrom again? Would it be good for the hobby if Pete Alonso wins that rookie, uh, rookie of the year? He already won rookie of the year. 
would it be uh, good for the hobby if Pete Alonso uh, wins the NL MVP? Just hits, uh, I don't know, how, how much could he hit? He hit 50 someone homers last year, right? If he hits like, I don't know, 25, 30 home runs in two months. Mets win like 35, 40 games. Woo. But that's the thing. Like in a, in a short season, you can proje you can have a run of home runs that could project out to be 75 home runs in a season, but those players always cool off. And the numbers, like, you know, that's, what, that's the beauty of baseball. 162 games, it normalizes everything. You know, not most people aren't going to – you can hit – you know, 450 for a month, but you're not hitting 450 over the course of the season. You know what I mean? So that's the, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of baseball. Salt it all evens out. You know, but in a short in a short weird exhibition season like this, if it happens, guess what? Yeah, you could you could you could go on a two month hot streak. And that that could just be yeah that that might be enough for various awards and you know all these players most of these players probably have like award con like bonuses in their contracts so you don't you don't think Bobby Bradley has a I don't know how many games he might not be officially a rookie baseball wise he's a rookie in this set though I don't think Bobby Bradley has an MVP contract <laughs> bonus kicker in his contract million dollars if he hits like if he wins an MVP there's Dylan Cease finest firsts White Sox Jimmy Brandt on the board so yeah Evie was saying earlier what Cy Young five six seven seven game winner that might do it I think Otani might only get eight starts, right? Two months, roughly seven, eight starts. Maybe other starters will get a little bit more than that. Maybe they'll get 10 starts in a month or in two months. Might be a little extra extra starts there, but I don't know. We'll, we'll math this, this out at some point. And nice, we got Robel Garcia. And that's probably for EA. Yeah, he has the Cubs, nice. There you go, Cubbies. For EA Sports is in the game. Is Brendan McKay your AL rookie of the year? He's another two-way player, like Otani. You know, so if they have him hitting and pitching, what happens there? So I think there'll be some interesting things happening in the baseball season if things go ahead. Do we have any, do we have, do we have any updates on that? Let's check it. Let's see what MLB trade rumors has for us. The Mariners assigned Emerson Hancock. Playoff fields remain set at 10 teams. MLBPA still open to discussing expanded format. John Rabia, I'm not sure who he is, undergoes Tommy John surgery. Nashville Sounds exploring the possibility of hosting a free agent league. Universal DH will be implemented for 2020 and through the playoffs too. The transaction freeze lifted uh, yesterday, I think. I'm not sure if any what uh, what would happen significantly transaction wise. Um, Ryan Harold, you're happy for Universal D, uh, DH, and you're an NL guy. I'm not into it. I'm not 
it's not enough for me to be like, I'm never watching baseball again. You know, it's not like that, but I prefer not to have it. You know, I would just prefer not to have it. But I guess I can't be too angry if... You know, Cody Bellinger DH is. It's not too bad, right? Or Justin Turner. Actually, this guy right here, he's not getting any younger. He's got he's got some some little couple little nagging injuries here and there every once in a while when he plays the field. Justin Turner DH that would be awesome. Give him some days off. Here's Domingo Leba. That is for Ryan Bellis and the Snakes Diamondbacks. You, you're at a Mets Dodgers game when Thor smacked two home runs against mine. I must have blocked that out of out of my memory. There's four out of twenty-five. Jorge Polanco. Off of who? Who was on the mound that day? Or was it two different pitchers? And we've got Sheldon Nussi, 21 out of 99. Red, red, green shimmer autograph going to EA and the A's. EA and the A's. Nice. There's Pete Alonzo right there for the Metropolitans, Ryan Harold. Silver Pete. Next box. We're about halfway through this finest break. Almost halfway through. We should be done with this another 15 minutes or so. And then we'll go th I'm going to go through some orders and then Nick's probably going to start with the blaster break, whatever else that's sold out, and eventually the mixer. Now that mixer is actually not that long. If you look at it, there's it's a lot of one box you know, handful of pack break, maybe mostly one pack break. So it's a pretty nice mixer actually. So uh, that should be done actually pretty quickly, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'm sure we'll, Nick will be, still have a little bit of energy to go another hour or two to fill up whatever else we get done tonight. Oh, Kenta Maeda. Fuad, what's going on? How do, Jeremy Agno, what's up? How do, how do you uh, price your 2020 Select Gold Mojo Yelich? One of one. <laughs> yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta do your research. Uh, see what other one of one sold for, right? Maybe if someone pulled like a Cody Bellinger one of one that same set in parallel for other players, you can kind of use that. Yeah, and then look at the Yelich out of fives. And then you can sort of triangulate a, a, a price that way. That's the blessing and the curse of the one of one. The blessing, of course, it's a one of one. The curse, what's it, what's it worth? How do I, what's a fair price? There's Eddie Rosario to 50. And we got a Will Smith, the fresh Prince of Bel Air, going to Dean. In West Philadelphia is where he was born and raised, ladies and gentlemen. The playground is where he spent most of his days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. You know the rest. You know the story. That's his walk-up music, too. Is there a card behind Justin Turner? Oh, I thought there was. And we got finest first, Abraham Toro. Rick T with the Astros.
All right, four more to go. MH says, just start out 99 cents, let it ride. Let the chips fall where they may. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Yeah, we're going to be breaking Blaster 21 for a little bit later. And 22 and the mixer and whatever. I know there probably might be a couple other smaller things that sold out too. And we'll be doing all that. If it's sold out, we'll be doing it, most of it. What's, what's the deal with this? Under Armour Eyes end of $280 million deal with UCLA. There was a 15-year deal that they signed back in 2016. So UCLA would be an Under Armour school, but I don't understand what the pro what was the problem. Which was the largest college apparel deal as of September 2019, according to Forbes. I don't follow college sports too closely, but does anyone else have a better, a deeper understanding of that? It's out of 50, Anthony Rendon. Angels edition, this will go to Ryan H. Were they, are they anticipating no college football or basketball and they're like, they're walking it back? There's Jake Bowers, Cleveland Indians edition going to Robert. We got Charlie Blackman to uh, two fifty. He's got the COVID. He tested positive. Hopefully, he'll he'll, he'll be okay. Kind of scary. All right, and there's Shin Chu, eighty three out of ninety nine. If you need some, if you need some uh, OBP in your fantasy baseball leagues. It's not a bad pickup to stash away. The COVID got stuck in his beard. Just sat there. Like Charlie Blackman was doing everything right. Wearing, he's wearing masks. He's washing his hands frequently. Not trying not to touch his face. Social distancing. Not traveling unnecessarily with big groups. But one little vid got caught in his beard. And then bang. Yeah, all indications seem seem to be that Charlie Blackman is, is a stand-up dude. That he's very down to earth. Uh, I think he still has his first car that he had when he was it from like high school or something like that. And he and once a year he drives it to like spring training from wherever from Colorado, I think. But definitely well liked. I think all the MLB network people seem to want to interview him, get some sound bites from him, and yeah, it seems like a, seems like a good dude. Oh, it's that Jeep Cherokee. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. But it's like a 1998 or something like that. Whatever it is, maybe not that old, but. And there's Carter Keboom, the man autograph. Yes, James. Two, 2004 Jeep 
Laredo. All right, there you go for Charlie Blackman. That's the 25. Nice. It's kind of hard to see the number. There you go. 16 out of 25. I like that that brick pattern in the background there too. It kind of looks like a like Camden Yards or maybe uh, the the wall at Wrigley. All right, that's Brandon Walker with the Nats. There's Bryce Harper to 150. Bryce Harper uh, win another MVP in his career? Yes or no? It's Carlos Carrasco. We had a scary blood thing last year. I think he's healthy again. Robert with the Indians. Of course, I had him on my fantasy team last year. But his health is more important. He's okay. He's okay now. Two boxes to go. MH says no. Ryan H feels a uh, trout auto repeat in these boxes, in these last two boxes. Bryce Harper's pretty young. But tonight after work, yeah, absolutely. Bryce, oh, Bryce Harper's 27 already? What? What? I feel like, I feel like Bryce Harper will win another MVP in like a weird season. Like it'll be like, he'll be like 36 or something. He just, he just kind of, something just clicks and he just rakes one big season. And he'll, he'll, he'll get a, he'll get a sneaky, uh, sneaky MVP. Out of 250, Ryan Braun. There's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. for the Blue Jays. Richard Zitterman. Sam Banks, you don't think the awards for this season should happen? Yeah, I don't know if, if, if the baseball writers of America have made a decision on that, but I feel like so many players, so many players need or have like MVP like bonuses in their contracts. So I feel like they kind of want that. I feel like the players would say, "Do it, vote." Tim Anderson, Jimmy Brandt, White Sox. Nice, love Tim Anderson. Does Mike Trout win another MVP? That might sound like a crazy question, but I wonder if like Mike Trout gets that sort of, uh, would end up getting like that LeBron treatment, right? Where it's like LeBron should win every year, but you know, he won't, you know? Like I feel like would that happen with Trout? Because all someone has to do 
is just do something kind of special, and the writers will be like, oh, MVP. Right? Miguel Cabrera has a triple crown, has a lower war win above replacement than Mike Trout, but yet he wins because he did something special. Triple crown. That Josh Donaldson year, where he had like 90 home runs in like the last month of the season and took the Blue Jays to the playoffs. He got the MVP. You know? So I, I feel like I feel like that there's I feel like that kind of might happen. Where people are so used to seeing Mike Trout go, oh he's gonna hit 330, 45 home runs, you know, 120 RBIs and you know, gold glove defense in the outfield and everyone's just like ho hum. That's usually what Mike Trout does, <laughs> you know? Forty doubles and But then someone will do something like unique or something like that. Someone will hit like 230 and hit 75 home runs and then Mike Trout loses another MVP. I don't, I don't think that's, that's that crazy. And some orange. An orange autograph. Matt Beatty. Five out of 25. That's Dean with my Dodgers with the orange shimmer. Matt Beatty. Nice. Pretty solid player. We've got Marcus Simeon to 250. Do we have a numbered card in that first stack? I feel like that, that would have popped a little earlier. Maybe not. Some refractors, but no. Okay. All right. Marcus Simeon, Oakland A's. That'd be for EA and the A's. And at the very end, it's going to be another Shinsu Chu. Hessen Chu. Michael Gucci and the Rangers, the on base machine. And that, my friends, is that. John McCormick. I'm sure Dem Bums will, will figure out a way. I just know it. That's what, the, that's what they do. Dem Bums. At this point, I'm afraid that if the Dodgers win the World Series, they'll like move back to Brooklyn. Remember? There were like decades of where the Dodgers didn't win the World Series. were always like bridesmaids back in the day. And then when the Dodgers won their first World Series in a zillion years in like the early 50s, they like moved five years later <laughs> to LA. So I feel like that cycle could repeat itself. All right. $50 of break credit. Top two get 25 Once uh, two teams get you one entry, four teams like Brandon get you two entries. Darren gets an entry. Dean gets an entry. EA gets an entry. Jimmy Brandt bought three. Two count, still an entry. Michael Gallucci, two. That's an entry. Michael Jones, two. That's an entry. Robert with three. Two teams count, still an entry. Robert, Brian B., Ryan B, Ryan H, and Scott only has one. Okay. All right, so 12 spots on that list. Top two after Bram Dorog checks my browser. There you go. Five and a five, 10 the hard way. Top two names, 25 bucks each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Dean and EA, 25 bucks each going your way. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.